Hi everyone, this is Owen from Irrelevant Shorts and this is the first video I've put up so far and I was planning on doing a proper in-screen tutorial on uh, some random stuff but since my graphics card is being a bit stupid obviously I can't do that so instead I was going to talk a bit about jailbreaking because we've already got a tutorial up now on how to jailbreak using um, green poison I think and it brought to my attention the fact that I've got a jailbroken iPod here and using spirit jailbreak quite some time ago it's caused quite a few problems first of all uh, the reason it's plugged in is that uh, typically the battery lasts around 15 minutes now which is ridiculous you can't actually use it as an iPod anymore it's ridiculous you have to have it plugged in all the time and also, the apps that I've installed beforehand don't work anymore. So things like uh, hockey, you try to open it and it fills the screen and goes away again. All of them, almost all of them. A couple still work, a bike, bike of blast off, that still works. And this is open to discussion by the way, I'm interested to hear if you've had the same thing happen to you. So. Yeah, presuming that's just spirit jailbreak being a bit dodgy, then the rest of them will probably work fine. And I'm aware that it's easy to fix this by restoring it, and the only reason I haven't done that already is because I can't be bothered. And in other news, um, yeah, that was it. Um, I was going to do a um, demonstration of this in the screen in Ubuntu is uh, the docky um, desktop app that you can have and it's basically a carbon copy of the um, Apple dot menu it's really authentic I mean it looks almost exactly like the real thing and there are plenty that you can get now that are, they're okay but this one is perfect it's amazing so yeah I've got the website somewhere there I think and I'll put it in the description too, just for the sake. Uh, and if you happen to be running Ubuntu, then you have the benefit of having the software sensor, so you can go and download that straight away. So, yeah, it's good. That was it. Uh, there's another app that I want to talk to you about. It's called Ubuntu Tweak. And what it does is it lets you modify stuff on the computer that you either couldn't change before, or it was just difficult to change and it lets you do all kinds of things. You can change the background of the login menu, you can change loads of stuff. Yeah, and I'm sorry it's taken me so long to get a video up, and I hope to get a proper demonstration of all of these as soon as I can. I think that's meant to do more, but I didn't. Bye everyone, and I'll see you all soon.